All right, so after we've gotten our site pinged and run it through the Quake Index, the next thing that I like to do is go to Social Adder and start doing some social bookmarks. So if you haven't signed up for a Social Adder account, you can at socialadder.com or you can follow our link through our affiliate. And basically, once you're inside here, you just go to Bookmarks and click on Add New Bookmark. From here, we're just going to grab our URL. So this is the How to Start a Blog and Make Money one. So I'm just going to insert that URL and I'm going to click on this wand right here. What that's going to do is it's going to grab the title and the description from our meta tags and it's just going to automatically input it. And from here, what I like to do is I like to do a quick spin of the title and a description. Um, to begin with, I'm going to get rid of some of these caps on my title because that ends up looking a little bit funny when uh, the best spinner tries to spin this. All right, so after I've done that, I'll highlight this and open up the best spinner. And then I'll paste my uh, phrase into here. And then I'm just going to click on everyone's favorite. I select best right here, and then I'll just click on replace. After that, I'll select the whole thing, highlight it right into here, and paste it into that title. So now if I click on spin preview, I can get examples of what my title might end up looking like. So here it says how to start off a web blog and make money. That looks good. I can test it again. Tips on how to start a web blog and make money. That looks good. I can test it again. How you can start a, out a web blog and make money. So all of this seems to look good. Next, I'm going to do the same thing to the description. So I'll highlight the entire thing. I do a control C to copy it. I'll paste it into the best spinner. Click on everyone's favorite. Click on replace. And now it's automatically spun my content. I highlight the entire thing and then I'll paste it right here. Same thing, I'll just click on spin preview to make sure it makes sense. So study specifically the way to start off a blog and earn money by following the few very simple methods on our internet site. Within two minutes, it is possible to possess a blog up and running. See, I don't like this to possess. I can tell that that's some bad spinning there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for it in the spin tax um, here it is, possess a, and I'm just going to delete that. Okay. Now when I spin it, I shouldn't have that variation in there anymore. So study exact tips on how to start off a blog and generate profits by following the, the couple of uncomplicated measures. See, I don't like this either. A couple of, so I'm, I might delete that as well. So let's find that into our spin tax. Where is that? I'm just going to do a control F and find it. Oh, I found it right here. Couple of. So I'll just delete that and then I can preview it once more. Find out exactly the way to commence a web blog and generate income by following the handful of easy actions on our website. Within two minutes, you can have a web blog up and operating. So this is starting to sound pretty good. And I just like to do that quick little edit to make sure that I'm getting good sentence structure so it sounds at least decent to a reader that, that sees it. Okay, another thing I should address is that I'm using the best spinner and I'm doing an automatic spin. Um, but typically for a lot of backlinks, you don't want to do that. And for your main content, you don't want to do that. But for these social bookmarks, it I found out that it actually doesn't really matter for this particular stage in the game. So doing this kind of spinning does not negatively affect my sites as far as what I've seen so far. So I just wanted to get that out of the way and let you guys know that. Okay, so after we've entered our title, spun that, entered in our description and spun that, then we're just gonna go ahead and pick a category. In this case, I'm just going to do a, let's just go business. And then submission rate, I just leave that at normal. Submission limit, I'll set that at 25. And then when I'm done with that, then I just click save.